Hey guys, we're on example 52. This is going to be for method of sections. Now what we've got here, we have this truss that's shown and it's got a pin and a rope up here supporting it. It's got these loads applied, so three of them, they're all 24 kilonewtons. And what we wanna do is we wanna find the forces in members CH and CF. Let's locate those things first. Here's CH, here's CF. Now, for method of sections, remember you can only have three unknowns at most for each of your sections. Otherwise, you can't solve it because you don't have enough equations. So can you all think of a way to split this thing up where we only have three unknowns? Well, I can't. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to have to make two cuts. All right, so let's make one here. That'll be the first one. And then we're gonna have to make a second one over here. All right. Because there is no way to cut through both of these and only get three unknowns, right? There's just no way to do it. So you're gonna have to do two cuts. Let's write a note about that. You need two cuts because we can't get both members in one cut at the same time with only three unknowns. That's why we're doing two. All right, so let's go ahead and let's start with this one first. So let's, well now, let's see what we want to do here. Remember, you have to pick which section you want. So do you want this left side? Do we want this right side? What do you think? Now remember, over here though, you've got this pin and then you have a rope. So if we use this left side, we have to know the tension in this rope. We have to know the forces in this pin. All right, so that would mean we would have to do the outline of the whole truss and then find those three unknowns. We don't want to do that unless we have to. If we use the right side, notice there are no external supports. So we can skip that whole first step. So let's go ahead and pick this right side. It's less work. We'll get the same answers anyways. So let's call this section one. And let's draw it out. So let's say it looks something like this. Uh, let's draw this up here. Let's see this, and then that. All right. Then let's put our three applied forces here. They're all 24 kilonewtons. Then we've got the three members that we cut through. So there are forces there. So we're going to have one for BC. Remember, always draw it going out of the section. It's going to be easier that way. We've got this one right here, the CH. That was the one we wanted to find. And this angle right here, 45 degrees. And then finally, we've got GH for that one. All right. Notice three unknowns, which is what we want. Now, we're just looking for CH. I don't care really about BC and GH. So can you think of a way to find CH with one equation? Hopefully you thought of the Y equation. All we need to do is sum up our forces in the Y direction, and that's gonna give us CH. All right, we've got these three negative 24s. Let's put those there. And then we've got a negative CH sine 45. Set it equal to zero. Now our only unknown is CH. Convenient, right? So now we can find CH. And when you do that, you get negative 101.82 kilonewtons. Now remember, the negative indicates compression. So let's put CH is 101.82 kilonewtons in compression. That was easy enough, right? Definitely easier than method of joints. Now that we've got this, what we want to do 
is go to section two. So let's go to section two. This will allow us to find the force in this member CF. Now again, you gotta choose left side or right side. We're gonna choose the right side again. That way we don't have to worry about the rope and the pin. This makes it easier. So let's draw our picture. Okay, so it's going to look like that. We've got 24 here. We've got 24 kilonewtons there. And then we cut through member CD. So put an arrow for that one. We cut through CF. This is one of the ones we want to find. And then we have GF here. All right, so this is the one we want. Okay, now this one, we're done with our free body diagram. Before we get started, though, we need to figure out our angles here. We don't know what these angles are. All right. So now if we look, we're looking at this member right here. And we want to know this angle. Okay. So if you look, if you draw this line here, this is one from right here. And then this right here is two. So we can use the arc tangent to find this theta. All right, so there's theta. And theta will then be the arc tangent of one over two. Oops, there you go. What does that give us? It gives us 26.565 degrees. Okay, so now we're done finding that. We have everything we need now, and we want to find CF. Now, let's think about how we can find that. Because we don't want to find these two unless we have to. Can you think of a way to do that without finding those two things? What about if we use a moment equation? If we use a moment equation and we pick a point where these two unknowns go through it, we don't have to worry about having those in the equation. And if you notice, this point right here does just that, right? Because CD goes straight through it, and so does GF. So that eliminates these two unknowns. Pretty nice, right? Let's go ahead then and do our moment equation about that point. So point E, counterclockwise, positive. All right, so we have that. Now we still have our forces here. I didn't draw an arrow, but there's one right there. All right, so this one's going to create a moment. It's going to be a positive moment at 24. And then our distance, the distance we need is just this distance here, which is 2. So we got 2 for that one. And then next we need moment due to this. I'm just going to split this up into the components and then we can use those components to find the moments. All right, so we have one component here. That's going to be CF cosine theta and that's going to be a negative moment. And our distance is going to be from here up so that's going to be a 1. And then lastly, we've got this force component right here that creates a moment. This force is CF sine theta, and that's going to be a negative moment also. So negative CF sine 26.56, then we need our distance. Our distance is going to be this horizontal distance, so we go this way, which is 2. Right, and then set it equal to zero. Now with that, our only unknown here is CF. So that's all we have to solve for. So you're going to get a positive 26.83 kilonewtons. That's in tension. Okay. So with method of sections, you can kind of cut out a lot of steps if you just pay attention to your free body diagram and the equations you can work with. So if you use the right moment equations, you can eliminate some of the unknowns if you're not looking for those, which is what we did here. All right. 
because some people will just naturally start doing the sum of the forces in the x, sum of forces in the y, and then they get the moment equation. They don't even have to do all that. So if you're doing that on a quiz or exam, you're wasting a lot of time. So pay attention to your diagrams and look and see if the moment equation will save you some time. All right. That's the end of method of sections. Next time we will talk about frames and machines. Those problems get uh, interesting. All right. See you then.